late. A postal worker is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he needs to. Hey, it's a letter from my boy down Kansas way. Johnny. Slavery? Popular sovereignty, Kansas? Oh my god. I have heard the good news of our Lord. You and me must travel down to Kansas to stop the spread of the evils of slavery. Who, me? Yes! Will you journey with me and go down and kill everybody in Kansas? Yeah, sure, whatever. Huzzah! Let's get to it! Wait, right now? Mr. Brown, we've been walking all day. I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we should have planned this out better. Ah, I hate these woods. There's nothing to eat. Well, do you have anything to eat in that bag of yours? Well, there's oxycodone. They're instant acquired taste. Uh, I think we'll just go stop somewhere to eat. John, it's so damn cold out here. I'm freezing. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Say, who's that man over there? It's one of them rangers. Comes out from Texas way. Most men just call him Strider. Well, howdy, partner. Well, howdy, partner! My name's Travis, you can call me Ricky Slimder! Name's John Brown. Me and my cracked out mailman are heading down to Kansas. Oh shoot, you want me heading out to damn parts? Them border ruffians is heading out of the state of Missouri, put on slavery and such. They'll shoot a northerner like you, sure shoot. Well, we're going out regardless. Could use a hand. I'll tell you what, Mr. Brown, I will help you. Three out of my four grandparents were slaves, and I've been itching to kill some slave folk. Don't worry, we can't lose. We're on a mission from God. All the same, I have a friend who might be able to help us out. He used her old damn Mexicanos, now he's kind of chills. He's got a terrible throwing arm and ain't too bright, but he could be mighty useful on a pinch. Sounds good. What's his name? Mark! Say Mark! Get up there! Get up! Huh? Oye! Oye, hey myself! John, this is my pal Mark Sanchez. He don't speak much English, but come from Texas, I might be able to translate some Espanol. Dormia, hombre. Que te sias? Hola, Mark. This is my friend John Brown. We're gonna need some help getting to Kansas. Uh, Chase Tigres entrando un barro que se ría por última. Ah, ah, ah. Si, senor. Slays is muy malo. I come with you. Good. Now we got us a posse. Say, Mark, I think I dropped my compass. Huh? Who dropped what? Zoom vagabundo, aye. Go sit on over here now. Oopsie. Ah, <laughs> Alright, so we should go back to the mailman now. Where are we taking this cow ride? 
west. Now that John Brown's heading off to Kansas, he better know he got himself in a whole heap of trouble. Oh, huh. Glad to know you're alive, son. Pa, what are you doing here? You and my friends came down here to help with their slaving problem. Come on, let's get you boys some grub. So, Johnny, how do you think we can help exactly? Well, Slim, we got a problem around here. Whole state's gonna vote, and it's not looking too good. A lot of folks around here are pro slavery. Well, that's why I'm here, son. I'm gonna shoot all them bastards so there ain't none of them left. Might eat him if I have to. Well, that's good to hear, Pa. I think the biggest problem right about now is Lawrence. The whole town's been sacked by those goddamn ruffians. What's them free settlers doing about it? Well, that's just it, Pa. They ain't doing nothing. They just running off and letting things go down. Cowards! I guess it's up to us then, boys! Yeah! yeah I'm not sure how you figured that, but uh, okay, dear. Very good. We'll set out in the morning towards Lawrence see if there's anything left we can do. Nice to be working side by side with you, son. You too, Pa. Ain't nothing horrible gonna happen to us. We'll make camp here. Lawrence is in less than a mile that way. Shouldn't take us more than an hour to get over there. All right, rest up. Tomorrow we'll see if there's anything worth doing out there. Hey baby, name's Jesus. Quit groveling, baby. Jesus hates it when people grovel. Yes, my lord, I'm I'm terribly sorry. Don't apologize. Jesus hates it when people apologize, baby. Now what are you doing, baby? Averting my eyes, Lord. Well, don't, baby. Grow a backbone. Jesus likes a man with a little backbone. <laughs> yes, oh, Lord. All right, John Brown, baby. I got a job for you. <laughs> Just name your task, oh, Lord, and I, your humble servant, shall obey. Listen, John Brown, baby. Lawrence is through straight to hell. But people around here... They've been real assholes. Ask your boys about the Doyles. They've been catching escaped slaves, enforcing the Fugitive Slave Act. Doing bad stuff to the people around here. What would you have me do, O oh Lord? Christ, man, use your imagination, baby. Now look, I left a bunch of good stuff in the basement of the Doyle place for you. You go get that, you won't have no problem with nobody. Now look, I gotta run. I gotta go start the Taiping Rebellion. So I'm out. Peace. Hey! What did I tell you before? Sorry. Sorry. You know those guys? Yeah, that's James Doyle. Him and his son William are part of the Law and Order Party. They return to escape slaves back to their lives. Father, I know what you're thinking. Don't do anything rash. Wake the others. I know what we gotta do. No, no, some 
Something's all wrong here. I don't want no pizza. Oh, well, it's on the house then. Well, it sure is kind of you, stranger. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, mailman, get him! prisoners now. Come along now, boys. Let it go. Wait a minute, Slim. I'm gonna go head down to the basement. You round them all up. All right, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Dear John, I hope this is enough. I should have chilled and helped myself if I thought you couldn't handle it. I'll put in a good word for you with my old man. Don't go and do something stupid like getting hanged in Virginia. Finally yours, Jesus. What should we do with him? Kill him! Here you go, senor. Ah ha ha! Well, grab him, Mark! Do it, Slim! I'm not gonna like this, am I? Well, we have good news and bad news. Okay, what's the good news? We only killed two of them. 